Hey, people. YouTube had me shut down for a week, so I changed my icon up here. But I've been posting on my other two channels. Here's five of them here, and I'll probably get these put up on this channel. I'll accept this one. It's liable to take a lick because YouTube's a bunch of beeps over there. And on this one, I, I set it for children. It's pretty clean, so I set it for children so you can't comment on it. But I'll probably get these moved over here on this channel. All but this one. And this is my other channel. I've got uh, a couple of them on here that I didn't put on there. I think this one and this one maybe. So if you sub to this channel, Secrets of the Universe, you can catch me when YouTube shuts me down. I got, I don't know, over 300 movies up. And they can go through and, and find problems anytime they want. But this week they had me shut down I've been mostly reading in the Greek and you know they have this key in there all the time and uh and they say it means C in Hawaiian culture and the Gambis say it's it's a warrior but uh in the Welsh the Scandinavian and the Greek roots the meaning of is keeper of the keys the keeper of the keys and this is what it represents here it used to be called a valve pin and it looks like the Hebrew letter Vav, or the old Paleo letter Vav. And it was here, you know, the Vav, and connect the wheel, connected to keeper pin. You know, it's like a nail. You can see they even label it, you know, the head of the nail, and the leg, and the face. And this is a real good representation of an old one. looks just like your letter Vav, and that's what it means. And you know it's opposite of Vav everywhere, and they say it means and, the same they say as Vav. And so this is the keeper of the keys, this is the secret, and it's, uh, and that's what I, I tell you, it's a Vav, and so it can mean and, or connected, you know, that's why I say two, when something's connected, it's, it's two. Or it can be a W, as in a Wotan, or a V, as in a Votan, or a U. And so you have to read and see how it fits. But sometimes you can say and, but most of the time it's two. But uh, I just found this, and uh, and I know what it says because we say it all the time. Right about this time of year, you know, we out there working on the roof, and some Yankee says, too hot on not on knew it to. And so this is the guy's name. This is what we call him out on the job. He, he don't even know what heat is yet. This is just June. And so too hot on not on knew it to ledge it. And so this, this knew it, you know, is in pneumatic tools. They start with a P, pneumatics, the winds. And the P is silent. And this is Neo, N-E-O. And this means new. And so, in the picture language, you know this, the face, the, the new, the new guy. And so, to hot on, not on, knew it too. Alleged, he said. That's the guy who's talking. Hot is causing, hot it causing. The heat's causing the stay to genitize. And so, where they get this, there will be, and it happens... This, um, this means there will be to stay. And so it means the time shouldn't be moving. You know, it's stay, the stay, S-T-A-Y. But they're confusing it with this it age, E-T, to age. And this is a suffix, and they always say it means, you know, in the future. You know, it to, to age, E-T-A-J. And so you can read most of these suffixes in the front, and you could just read this to aging you know and that's what the the heat does to you it'll cause you to aging and so to hot on not on knew it to the new guy that doesn't even know this is just june wait till august he alleged he says the heat is causing the stay which shouldn't be moving you know the time my youth to age to the gin it to the gin to age and you can just read it as to a 
gin and, and most of these suffixes you could just put them in the front like ma when something ends with ma you can put it in the front and read it as from so I found this here it comes up three different ways one time each you know the cause and, and the causing and the cause and no I ran into it in Matthew 20 I was reading down this symphony and and here it's it's those mornings come the raws you know come the raw is this raw is the sun come the raw is in the morning is when it comes and so with the s on the end those mornings what on causing and so it has nothing to do with heat here it has nothing to do with scorching heat and the morning is what cause on you know it could be the light by the or the warmth but not scorching heat but i ran into this you know on the last movies i i read a little bit of this and i was telling you about on the second line it starts with the symphonies and this is the same word they say symphony that means an agreement and uh and i was telling you here's the sum as into the add up the phones as the add up the sounds as I was telling you, it was probably two different words. It probably came with an N in it. S-Y-N as in synchronize the sounds as. And sure enough, as I was reading down, I found it. And it's still, you know, did you agree with. And here it's more as to agree because it's the the sin, S-Y-N. You know, the sync, synchronize. The sign phones as. The, the sync of sounds as and so it comes up six times you know spelled different every time and they, they double up I think uh, two in Luke two in Acts and two in Matthew but you know four times it's the sum you know the added up of the sounds in and two times it's the sign it's the sign the sin and so this is called the parable of the vineyard workers and they totally got this story twisted you know and at first it's a death here and this isn't the master of the house this is the co despota you know this is a uh, usually an evil ruler but this is the the co you know there's more than one there's two of them and so I'm going to start uh, the next movie with no explanations. Uh, you can watch the last couple of movies I posted. Because I'm just going to start reading down this. And, uh, and it's a symphony. It's the symphonies of the Metaton. Metaton is a know-it-all. The know-it-all. The symphonies of the Metaton. He knows how to play every instrument. Hear God on. The symphonies of the Metaton here, here means within arm's reach, here God on, ek is L, of, of donor you. Then come here on, a pestelian, you know, a pest they lend. What to us this, this ton, you know, ton to, to wear, to put it on from this ston. Ampelona, and so Ampelona is not a vineyard. Uh, ample, ample is generous or more than adequate in size. Plenty. It comes from this word ample, and it's a two-handed vessel. You know, it's a big container. You know, this is an amphora, a little skinny container, but ample is much wider. You know, it's got a bigger mouth. It's got a bigger base. You know, this amp, you know, like ampidextrous you know, on both sides. And Luna, you know, is the moon, but it's associated with the woman. And I think what it's saying is she's got plenty woman. Big butt, big tits, and ampelona. Both sides of the moon. What two? And so hopefully by the time I, I finish reading this, we'll figure out exactly what picture they're talking about. But we'll tell with their clues, you know. Because it says a symphony is to add up the sounds. And in their interpretation, you know, they say it's the story of the vineyard. So it's talking about 
one of these pieces of artwork on these pots. But it's also, also going to talk about the sun of Poseidon, which is actually the moon of Neptune. You know, as in Amphalona on both sides of the moon. All right, I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.